Chris. I'm Kristen and welcome to Keto in the Country. So this is our first video. Um, so we'll tell you just a little bit about ourselves. We decided to go with the name Keto in the Country because of where we're located, we're about an hour, hour and a half away from a Whole Foods or a Fresh Market, and we found that you can find most of your basic pantry items at the local Walmart. What we would like for this channel to be is your go-to channel to find good basic keto recipes. We've been keto for about a year now, so we've, through trial and error, uh, we've actually come up with some really good recipes that we would love to share with you on your keto journey. Um, any ideas that you all have that you want us to try out, go ahead and let us know. You can do that by subscribing to our YouTube channel, so be sure to go ahead and hit subscribe. Because we've got some really good ideas. We have a jam recipe that we would like to share with you, uh, bread and butter pickles, muffins, all kinds of good stuff. So grab a pen and a piece of paper, write down your grocery list of what you need to have to sustain a keto lifestyle. Okay, so right here we have basically what we like to keep in our pantry pretty much at all times. Um, over here we have the oils that we like to use. MCT oil is wonderful. Um, you can just go ahead and add it to your coffee as a salad dressing. It's always a staple that we have on hand. It's a pretty keto staple. Um, olive oil, we like to get um, our olive oil in glass bottles just to stay away from any of the toxins from plastic. Um, this is a great spray. It's organic. It's an avocado oil as well. You can use all of this for sauteing. Um, Anything you can get organic, um, you get it. I think it makes a difference, uh, even the spray. Sometimes it can be just a little bit more pricey, but a dollar here and there really does go far in the long run when it comes to your health. Um, this organic coconut oil you can find at Walmart. It's not that expensive and you can use it in cooking. You can use it in your coffee. And then this is our favorite kind of butter, the Kerry Gold Butter. They sell it pretty much everywhere now. Um, and so when it comes to baking and things like that, we, we miss our bread, we miss our, our flour. Uh, but we have found almond flour is great for baking. It has a nice texture. Also, there's the coconut flour. Uh, it has a, you have to experiment with the flours uh, and find the combination that you like. Sometimes the coconut flour can get a little funky in texture, so it, it's just you have to learn to balance them out. So most of the time we just bake with the almond flour. Right. But the, these are two basic flours that you want in your pantry. And you'll find in almost every dessert recipe that you find on the internet. Exactly. Another thing is the pink Himalayan salt. It has, uh, as opposed to white table salt, which is pure sodium, the, the pink Himalayan salt has a lot of minerals in it and it's not highly processed. So this is a, a you'll find that the keto diet is, tries to stay away from processed foods. Right. Uh, just, it's almost like a cleaner, well, it is like a cleaner way of eating. So that's why we try to stick to organic when possible. Um, and this, this is, a most definite staple. We get yes. through bags of this. We always have extra in the pantry, so when you see it, always grab a bag or two. Yeah. Um, as far as vinegar goes, I'm used to always putting balsamic vinegar in my salad dressings, and we found that balsamic vinegar has a lot of carbohydrates. A it's lot. really high in sugars, and it's only for about <laughs> a tablespoon. Um, and I love vinegar on my salad. I love the acidity that it adds. So rice wine vinegar, this is organic. You can find this at Whole Foods. Um, it's delicious. It's great with Asian cooking. It's great, um, you know, just as a salad dressing. Another thing great with Asian cooking is we have replaced our soy sauce with the coconut aminos. It, it acts as a soy sauce. We like to stir fry veggies a lot. Yes. So. It's a great way to get in your vegetables and also add flavor. Yep. Um, apple cider vinegar. We always use this also in salad dressings. It's just healthy for you in general. Um, we always have a big thing of this yes. in the cabinet. So next we have the bone broth. It is another staple. We have it on hand at all times. You can use it for a soup base. Uh, you can use it for a snack. We just have a cup of it in the afternoon. Uh, you it's add... Yeah, it's really great just with a little bit of salt and MCT oil. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that Christy turned me on to was the collagen. I'll let her tell you more about that. It's just a, a collagen. Uh, after a little research, I like this brand. It's the Dr. Axe brand of collagen. It's good for skin, hair, nails, uh, joints. And you can literally just take the soup the soup, and put a spoonful of that and it really adds something. It adds something to the texture and I think it fills me up a little bit more. Yeah, and something else we add to our bone broth 
um, is the nutritional yeast. It's full of B vitamins. It's good for energy. I think everybody's a little deficient in one B vitamin or another. Uh, this is a great source of B vitamins. Um, avocados are something that you're going to probably hear a lot about on the keto diet. And what's nice is the thing is, well, before I started keto, I think on every other diet I've been on, they tell you to really be careful. Avocados are so high in fat. On this diet, it's pretty much encouraged. Um, you can overdo it, so be careful, but definitely embrace the avocado. Yeah, embrace the fat, which is the best part. Um, when you're feeling snackish, we always have nuts on hand, olives, uh, cheese is great for snacking with olives, uh, cream cheese we also bake a lot with, when, yes. especially when we're having a sweet tooth, mm -hmm. it, it usually involves cream cheese. And my favorite, um, this is the organic Walmart peanut butter. The interesting thing about this is there's only one net carb in the peanut butter. Looking at the labels on all of your items in your pantry, are gonna be, it's going to be really important. It's going to help you out with, you know, balancing out how many carbs you have during the day, also with the calories. And the thing, what Kristen said about labels is she found this peanut butter, other peanut butters, even all natural peanut butter, uh, have some natural occurring sugar from right. the peanuts. This has one carb per serving. And so just always look at your labels. Even with the almond flour, yes. some almond flours have more carbs than others. So all of, whatever you're buying, turn it around, look at the label. What else? Um, this is your favorite kind of beef to use. Yes. I'll let you tell them about Just it. because it's a, it's a cleaner beef. It's grass fed. Uh, we, like I said, we try to stay with organic when possible and grass fed beef when possible. I think that that pretty much covers everything. Did we talk about the half and half? Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. Um, so another staple is the whipping cream. It's better <clears throat> than milk or even half and half simply because when they take the fat out of milk uh, to create the 2% milk or even the half and half has had fat taken out, they add sugar back in because it doesn't taste so good without the fat. So when they take the fat out for low fat diets, they add sugar, which is the worst thing you can do, and which is why we drink the heavy whipping cream. It's really become quite the treat in the afternoon if you need something to kind of just get you through those like couple hours before dinner. A cup of coffee with some heavy whipping cream it really feels like a treat, it if not a like treat. a dessert. It, because when you're feeling sorry for yourself because you you've chosen for your health not to have bread, uh, pasta, <laughs> grains. Think of all the things that you can have. You can have macadamia nuts, you can have avocados, you can have butter. Full fat cheeses. Full fat cheeses, heavy whipping cream. And these are things that you really can't have on any other diet. And mm -hmm. so the fact that you can have all of these, I think it's just really important, like you said, to focus on the things that you can have instead of feeling deprived. Exactly, and they're healthy. These mm -hmm. are healthy, healthy things to eat. Oh, two things we didn't cover. These are my weird things that I eat. Um, what is the spirulina? The spirulina powder is a very strong antioxidant. It tastes awful, but I take it with ashwagandha root, which doesn't taste so bad. If you've never heard of ashwagandha root, Google it. It's, it evens out your body. It helps with anxiety. It, there's nothing this little root can't do. What I do, I put them together, a teaspoon of each with some lemon juice, a little bit of water, and I shoot it. Thank you so much for joining us today for our first episode of Keto in the Country. We hope that you'll be back again. Well, we're going to have lots of recipes and ideas, so we can't wait to see you. Go ahead and pause this. Right. Take a minute. Um, yes. Stop it. Um, <laughs> uh, pause the tape now. The tape. <laughs>